When you drive with your car on the highway, I'm pretty sure you are wearing a seat belt and you are observing the speed limits, correct? So in other words, you follow certain rules, right? And because if you would not uh, observe these rules, that would be a, a great danger for your life. That could be life-threatening, right? So in other words, you avoid risks in order to keep yourself safe, right? And this is what I thought I'm gonna talk about in this video today. Um, how to manage risks, how to manage risks when dating not only Indonesian women, but that also applies uh, to uh, any other uh, woman in Southeast Asia and probably for, for all the women around the world. So, um, I was also uh, thinking about uh, uh, talking about this topic today because when you are an investor, and maybe some of you are, yeah, you are familiar with the concept of uh, risk management, right? And I think a very important thing to understand uh, as an investor is that actually the investments are not risky, right? These are not the risky parts. The risky part is actually the investor. It's you, it's me, right? Because you can also ask the question, is a BMW uh, or a Mercedes the car? Is it safe? Is it a safe car? Uh, maybe it is. Maybe you say it is a safe car, but uh, what if you uh, get behind your wheels and you had some alcohol. What if you're drunk? If you're a drunk driver, if you, if you drink and drive, is the BMW still then a safe car? I don't think so, right? So there you can clearly see that the risk is actually with the driver or in other words, when it comes to investments, it is with the investor. So now, what are the risks in dating Indonesian women or, for that matter, any other Southeast Asian women? Very clearly, the risk is that you run into a scammer. Yeah? A woman who is a liar or a cheater, basically a person who is dishonest. That's one of the risks. Definitely, that's kind of obvious, right? But. There are some other risks uh, you should be aware of. And another risk is uh, your ignorance. This is uh, certainly one big risk. You know, your ignorance of the, the culture, you know, um, your ignorance of the culture, the dating dynamics, the uh, your ignorance of the psychology you know psychology of people and how women tick so this is a that's a great risk your ignorance but also an even greater risk, risk probably is your own temperament you know your own psychology so to speak and that ties into with uh, certain things like um, your self-esteem. Is it low? Is it high? Are you aware of your needs? Yeah? Are you uh, a needy guy? Um, are you dominated by a scarcity mindset? You know, do you think, ah, oh, there are not enough women around for me? Um, are you a guy who is constantly seeking for approval, validation, attention? Are you a problem solver? You know, are you a kind of a prince charming guy who wants to always constantly save the, the princess? You know, are you a savior? Do you feel to uh, be needed? These kind of things. I have done videos about this in the past, but they play a very important role when it comes to dating in Southeast Asia. Because, let's say, if you are a very needy guy, then certain girls will take advantage of this. And so that's a risk for you. Um, but if you are not aware that you are a needy guy, uh, so how, how do you want to fix that problem? How do you want to manage this risk, you know? So 
very clearly you can see that the risk is, is, is on your side, it's with you. So the question now is, you know, as any investor would probably ask himself or herself, how do we manage that risk, you know? And there is one, one solution to this thing. How do we manage risks? It's very simple. We manage risks with massive, intense and unbreakable rules. The keyword is rules. Rules or policy. You can also say policy or policies. What are your personal rules? What are your personal policies? You know, remember driving your car on the highway. Um, one of the rules is to wear a seat belt, right? To protect yourself first and foremost. But uh, another rule is uh, yeah, to obey, to follow the, the traffic rules, you know, the speed limit, for example. Yeah, that's another rule. So there is a correlation between risks and rules and minimizing risks, right? You know, you cannot control the weather, but uh, you can control where you want to build your house, right? We cannot control certain events, unfortunately not, but we can hedge for them, right? So what is a hedge? A hedge, for example, is your own personal rules, your policies. Another hedge would be education to uh, get rid of ignorance, you know? So when it comes to dating, education means that you learn how to date, especially in Southeast Asia. I've mentioned this many times, the dynamics in Southeast Asia are completely different than in Europe or in the Western world. You need to, if you are a greenhorn, if, uh, if you are new to Southeast Asia, you need to start learning dating in a co completely new. You have to start basically all over, okay? So this is what you need to learn. You have to educate yourself. You have to uh, learn how to date again. You have to uh, practice learning by doing. You know, you have to make mistakes. You have to learn all about uh, the red flags when it comes to dating Southeast Asian women. And that also applies to Indonesian women. Yeah, I've done videos about that. So ignorance is a big risk factor. And ignorance plays a big part in risk. Um, experienced guys, experienced people, they manage risks, right? So I've talked about the massive, intense, unbreakable rules just a minute ago. So what are these rules, you might ask now? And I will share them with you. I will share with you my own personal, unbreakable, massive and intense rules I apply when it comes to dating in Southeast Asia to avoid and to minimize certain risks yeah, to um, avoid scammers, for example. Yeah? And these rules especially apply when you are in the beginning stage of the dating. Let, let's say the first two, three, four, five months, okay? Or even six months. This is a, but especially the first three months, this is a very crucial time. So here are my massive, intense, unbreakable rules when it comes to dating Southeast Asian women. I don't throw cash at these girls. That means neither cash nor do I buy them any gifts, handbags, smartphones, clothes, dresses, you name it. I don't do that. That's rule number one. Rule number two, I do not, I do not send them any money whatsoever. Yeah, um, this is my rule. Um, another rule is that uh, I, I don't let my money be the solution. Yeah, so that actually goes together here. Another rule I have, I do not take ownership of the girl's problems. This is what I don't do, especially not in the beginning. Um, later, of course, if you have established a relationship, if you can trust each other, and you love each other and then things like that, then of course your or her problem kind of also becomes your problem. But this is normal in a stable, uh, well-functioning uh, and healthy relationship, right? That you 
share your problems and um, share the bad things and you also share the good things but in the beginning you know if you don't know this person if you don't know the girl if she is still a complete stranger to you in order to avoid and minimize risks you need to apply some rules or personal policies and these um, four things I just mentioned so don't throw cash don't send them any money don't let money be the solution and don't take ownership of uh, the problem of the girl uh, don't take ownership of problems of this girl are very important another one rule number five is um, don't date any bar girls that's that, that's what I don't do I stopped doing this uh, a long time ago already this is a, a, another great rule to minimize and basically avoid many risks you know the risks of being scammed you know taken advantage of ripped off and other things and uh, rule number six I have uh, is to basically stick to these rules you know I just gave you these are my personal hardcore rules which I apply there are certainly more rules other guys guys that might have different rules but I just want to share with you my rules here which are applicable especially in the first few months of dating so you just don't want uh, to hope for the best you know because this is a little bit too silly actually and a little bit too uh, dangerous also just just hoping and throwing a caution to the wind is not going to cut it you know um, yeah we have to therefore understand the risks and we have to manage them properly you know when you go to Las Vegas or to Macau and visit any casino and you are let's say a responsible gambler then you are someone who is taking a certain amount of money with him or with her and after you gamble this money away you basically go home you leave the casino so in other words you know how much money you uh, can lose or allow yourself to lose right this is um, also a kind of a risk management right technique it's a risk management technique um, success is, is not about being lucky it's it's really uh, about minimizing uh, losses and managing your risks right and uh, there are basically three approaches to um, to risk to risks you know um, the first approach is basically just to avoid risk you know you can just uh, put your hand put your head into the sand you know and just ignore it avoid it um, a second option is a second approach is yeah, to um, to take the risk you know Oh, but this is what actually gamblers are doing that would be considered gambling or oh, the third approach is to to manage risk and uh, this is what I want to convey in this video risk is always uh, related to control uh, so more control you have so less risk there is and the other way around right if you have um, less control so so higher the risk you know and if you have absolutely no control at all yeah that's called gambling so with that being said um, I hope I could give you uh, some food for thought here um, I try to take this um, risk this concept of risk management which we have in investing and try to kind of apply it also to dating because I find for me it makes a lot of sense you know um, not only to think about uh, the risks of dating in Southeast Asia and uh, all the dangers and the red flags involved but also to think about a strategy a solution right how can we avoid these risks you know how can we minimize them and this was the approach of my video today to take this concept of risk management and try to let's see if we can also apply to dating I think we can uh, there are certain very useful and valuable similarities which we can easily apply at least we can start to think about them you know 
and uh, yeah, try uh, to improve <clears throat> the way we we handle these things, you know. And again, I want to repeat. Um, the two biggest factor, I think, the two biggest risks are really you, you know, um, the guy who is dating. Because, as I mentioned before, your own ignorance is a big risk, you know, if you don't know anything about the culture, the girls, how they take, you know, and uh, if you don't know anything about any red flags, you know, red flags, you are blind to a certain red flags because you don't know about the culture, the dating culture in these countries, in Indonesia or the Philippines or in Vietnam or in Thailand. You're not aware of these dating dynamics, you're not aware of the psychology of the women and the culture. And that results in uh, being blind for certain red flags. But with um, dating by doing, you know, learning by doing, you will get better, you will practice and you will improve, you know. And another one, again, I want to mention this, is your own temperament, your own psychology. Do you have any issues? Maybe you're suffering from trauma from a past relationship, you know? Um, are you a needy guy <clears throat> like I used to be, you know? I know what I'm talking about. So these, if you are a very needy guy and you need a lot of approval, validation and attention, then it can get very tricky and very dangerous. You might be one of those guys who is ending up in the bars, you know? Because the bars or the bar girl scene, the whole bar girl thing, uh, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, in Thailand, and also in Vietnam, is basically a very um, convenient, quick fix to buy attention. You know, if you are a guy who needs a lot of attention, then yeah, the bar is the best and uh, most convenient place to buy attention. And you get a lot of attention by these girls, you know, just wave with you with a hundred dollar bill and then uh, 20 girls come flocking to you you know problem fixed i don't think so i think you just uh, created a, a way bigger problem without being even aware of it so what's the moral of the story my last question i want to pose to you is talking about risk risk management and stuff like that if it gets too hot what's your exit strategy actually do you have one also, we have to think about it, you know. I think in the beginning of the dating process, the first one, two, three, four months, you know, it's pretty easy, you quit the relationship, you know. Um, but what if you uh, have been in a, in a relationship for quite some while now, for, for a year or for two years, how do you get out of this, you know? How do you manage this? What's your exit strategy, you know? And the last thing I wanna say, the whole thing I was talking about here, basically also boils down to one thing proper decision making yeah you know this not only applies of course to dating but this is where we all including me of course have to get better we have to improve our decision making skills because our entire life we have to make decisions and i don't want to get into this topic here too much now but you know what i'm talking about hopefully at least I hope you understand the importance of decision-making and how it really affects your life uh, at a grand scale, you know. So this is what, what we want to do. We want to improve our decision-making ability, you know. We want to improve uh, our judgment, you know. We want to improve our discernment, the ability to discern, you know. And uh, in order to do that, we need to educate ourselves more. We need to learn about ourselves. We need to learn about other people, other cultures, you know. And once we have educated ourselves, uh, then uh, we are also able to make way better decisions. And um, then uh, our life will improve, you know, because if a girl if an indonesian girl for example is asking you for some money and she is a stranger to you and you don't even know her but you willingly hand her uh, a certain amount of money then and she is not returning the money back to you then you cannot just blame that girl later and say oh she is a scammer or she was stupid or whatever yeah maybe she was a scammer but the problem was not that she was asking uh, for money. The problem was that you gave her the money. So in other words, you 
it was just bad decision making, making on your part, right? It was, you did make a bad decision. You made that decision, you know? You handed the money over to the girl. Yeah, now you can complain and be, be angry and all, all, all what you want, but at the end of the day, you have to look into the mirror. It was your bad decision making which led to this action. So with that being said, I'm checking out for today. Um, let me know what you think in the comment sections. Uh, what is your risk management strategy? Do you have any or do you just uh, take risks or do you just avoid risks or I don't know do you manage them what do you think about the concept does it make sense to you or do you say oh Marcel what are you talking about this is too complicated for me uh, I'm not an investor I just want to get some dating tips so, yeah I think this is that was a valuable dating tip here because because it goes a little bit deeper you know so let me know what you think and um, if you have your own personal rules let me know, uh, uh, share your rules with me and with us. I'm eager to learn, you know, um, how do you manage your life? You know, what kind of rules do you apply? Yeah? Do you have massive, intense, unbreakable rules or don't you have any? And hopefully this video uh, could help a little bit to inspire you to think about it. So. Um, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.